As the sun rises on this Sunday morning, there were more than a thousand dreams waiting to be realized. Sunrise is such a powerful image of hope. This is the day of reckoning for these triathletes who have spent countless of hours preparing for this moment. There's a lean but quality field of pros. There are 20 of them, 11 men, and nine on the women's side. Leading the men's field is Cameron Brown, a 12-time Ironman New Zealand champion. He came so close to winning the Ironman World Championship in Kona in 2005, but he ended up five seconds short of winning it all. Now consider an Ironman living legend. He's tipped to be at the forefront of this brutal race. It's nice to be still reaching for the podium at my age and um, you know, I'll try and do that on Sunday again. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, I think, a, a challenge that we all have, you know, trying to do your best and uh, I'll be doing that again on Sunday. Probably the heat and humidity are going to be my biggest rivals out there. I think like everyone, it's going to be uh, quite a challenge. Pretty good, yeah, and I've had a good build up, so I'm um, excited to be on the start line and, and racing and um, it's doing, doing pretty good. But out to challenge him are a hungry pack of up-and-comers who are looking for a breakthrough Ironman win. On the women's side, Liz Blatchford of Great Britain, a two-time third-place finisher in the Ironman World Championship, is the favorite to win this historic race in the Philippines. But her time away from the race might open up a window of opportunity for the rest of the field. That includes longtime Ironman 70.3 Philippines competitor, Dimity Lee Duke. My mindset coming to this race, it's been nearly three years for me since I've done a full Ironman. I had my baby daughter one year ago today, it's her birthday. So I had some time out whilst being pregnant and some time out after having her. And before that I had some injuries and I've also had some recent injuries too. So for me, it's been a really long time since I've completed a full Ironman. So that definitely plays with the mind a little bit, you know, wondering if I can get through the distance anymore, how I'll be, how I'll be competitive. Um, but there's also a small part of me that's um, quietly confident. You know, I've been doing this sport a really long time and it is, when you break it down, it is just swim, bike and run. 30 minutes before the big race, a few hundred triathletes went off for the Century Tuna Ironman 70.3. At 6.20 in the morning, after the Philippine flag was waved proudly to the hymn of the country's national anthem. The cannon boom signaled the start of the men's pros. Two minutes later, it was the time for the female pros to start their race. Then the start line now belongs to the age groupers. As young as 18 to as old as 74, each of them went through a rigid qualification process just to make it to race day. To each of them, this is the realization of their dreams, the culmination of a long preparation. I started triathlon three years ago, and nung nagsimula ako, ito talaga yung ultimate goal to become an Ironman. Ito yung ano, first full distance na Ironman ko. Ang inspiration ko talaga in joining this race is this kid, uh, mahirap to become an Ironman and ultimately to become an Iron Dad. Since this is the first full Ironman in the Philippines, I really trained hard for it. I really prepared differently for it. My motivation is I just want, I, I want to be fit and healthy. And I want to inspire all the working moms like me that they can all do this. I'm na ako eh. I'm approaching 60. Wala pa ako na sa lang full. Hindi ko naman pipiliting yung sarili ko eh. Kasi sabi ko, basta kaya ko. Uh, I will swim as long as I can. I will, I will bike as long as I can. And uh, I will run as long as I can. Uh, and hopefully, I can do it within the time uh, given. Kasama to sa programa namin sa PNP, sa Patrol Pan 2030, kasama itong physically fit. Kaya ang ginagawa namin, kailangan sa trabaho mo, physical fit ka. Hindi mo magagawa yung trabaho mo pag hindi ka physical fit. Nasali kami dito sa first Ironman Philippines dahil ilang una, pinakauna to sa, ano natin, sa Pilipinas. Sabi nga nila eh, maging Ironman sa sariling bansa. 
the boom of the cannon, thousands of them, all with a common dream. That is to become an Ironman sa sariling bayan, made their way to the swim course. The 3.8 kilometer swim will be a two-loop 1.9 kilometer course in the ASEA. It will be calm waters, but we expect some choppy parts of the swim. And then after they complete a 3.8 kilometer swim, they now exit towards okay, the bike course. Great swim for Simon Cochran of New Zealand! Simon Cochran and Liz Blatchford were the first out of the waters to lead their respective fields. What a swim from Super Mom! Age groupers, more than a thousand and two hundred of them, were dispatched into the Subic Bay by wave. Each of them has a story to tell. Iron Man is the home of miracle stories. Redemption, validation, inspiration. You can find all those remarkable narratives here. Renz Formoso is a living example that nothing is impossible. All you need is an iron heart. Before, kasi nung college pa ako, I was really big. So, and then I wanted to do something na magkaroon ng healthy lifestyle kung baga. So, and then I started running. And then nung nagrun ako, naglose weight talaga ako. And then I joined marathons. Tapos I realized ko na parang I wanted to do more. And then inintroduce sa akin ng friend ko na nagta triathlon din. Um, nung inanong sa last year, I think around August, nagstart na kung mag ng training plan. So, very hard talaga siya kasi parang everyday meron ka talagang ginagawang uh, training and then one day lang yung rest day mo. Tapos incremental siya. So, as may increase na yung months, as, as the event comes closer, tumataas na yung mileage. And then, siguro pinaka hardest part lang ng training ko is nung February this year kasi nagkaroon ako ng bike accident. So, I was ano, na-involved ako sa bike accident in Sierra Madre. So, I had to adjust the training because I have to recover for I think three weeks. So I adjust talaga ako and then medyo nakakot na compress the training plan. So pero umabot naman ako for preparation for Ironman. So I wanted to challenge myself and push my limits. That's why I wanted to fit, join New Ironman Philippines. For Renz and the rest of the triathletes, triathlon has become a way of life. While the motivation is to finish the race. It's not the end goal, but it's part of the whole process of keeping a healthy lifestyle. We would like to thank our sponsors, AAI, the official logistics and courier partner of Century Tuna Ironman Philippines. AAI, total logistics defined. We would like to thank our sponsors, Tier, the official swim cap. Goo, the official energy gel.